welcome to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. I'm so happy that you are here today and today we are going to make some cool and awesome stuff craft for your children and I just recently posted and make all kinds of gnome. I don't know if this could be a series of gnome series craft making dollar store kind of craft so at this moment we are going to make a kids gnome so you can have a good time with your child or your children through crafting so let's get into this and we are going to make something like this i make a pink one and this is super easy it's a girl one so my gnome's beard is pink and she had a polka dot one and she had a super cool bling bling on her hat. So that's what I made. And we are going to make a different color for a boy-ish type of a gnome. So this could be a girl. Okay, so I really like it and it's super easy to make. And if I can make it, you can make it too. So let's get into this and let's get started. This is the closer look of our gnome. It's a little girly pink type of a gnome. So she is a girl and she had a super bling bling on her hat and yeah, so what we need for this particular item or particular craft is we need a felt, a black felt, and any kind of bow or you could use a button or something pom-poms at the end. And we of course need a pom-poms for the nose. Or you need a vase filler or anything that you like to use for your nose, okay? So we'll see. This is only optional. So let's put that in a little bit of corner on that side. And we need a green felt. So black and green. And this chipboard, this is for the beard measurement. Three and one-fourth. This is a three and one fourth measured. That's for the beard. It's a file folder. Okay, so this is the file folder that we are going to use. And a glue stick and a white yarn for the beard. And of course you need a glue gun. Okay, and with scissors. Yes, you definitely need a scissors. Now let's get started. All right, so you grab your file folder that we are going to use. So you just have to trace it with the circle shape or any medium size of plate that you want to use and then you cut them, right? You cut them, just follow the line. It doesn't need to be perfect and just keep on cutting it. There you go. All right. So once you cut it, you grab your felt, right? It should be square. And then you measured your out to your paper that you just cut off so you just have to measure or at least one inch apart from the paper that you just cut so you cut them around just like so and after that you fold your circle in half and you cut them okay just cut that circle like that it's like a taco after you do that, and you cut them in half as well. And then once you did that, you grab your glue gun and you just have to make them stick together like a cone. 
just like so. Alright, so it's on you on what size or how big of your gnome's body you want it. Okay, so just glue them together just like so. And there you go. You got the gnome's body. After that, you grab your felt that you just cut in half and you cover that up just like that okay. and it should be something that is apart from that paper cone okay now the next we're going to do is we are going to glue them just like this it doesn't need to be perfect because it'll be covered anyways okay so just glue it like so and if you don't want your paper be moving too much on your felt you can glue them as well just like what I did and just glue them and all you need to do is you cut a something like that to cover the edges of your paper not all the way but almost close to your paper okay because we don't want that paper showing out in that area so there you go so we just cut a piece and then we will glue them again just like that you can cover this part also and since we have this half we can use that to cover that area what I like to do ouch <laughs> what I like to do is I like to glue this first to put a glue around it and then I can and then I can cut around the bottom of that felt so what I did is this is how I do it just like that and just follow the end of that cone just follow that keep on going you got this and there you go now it is covered so that's the easy one and we already finished the bottom of our no now we are going to do our hat and it's not going to be totally circle but since we're just going to use half of it I'm just going to aim almost farther from that circle again just trace it out or something it's not supposed to be perfect but I like to estimate and then just like that and just like so now you have an almost cone shape of a hat of your gnome so we are going to use this after so all right so while we do that let's just go ahead and glue this felt okay now we just cut our green for a cone for another cone for our gnome so that's supposed to be looking like that and we are going to 
estimate where to put our gnome's nose. So it could be right there. All right, so let's put our gnome down here and glue it. And there you go. And let's put that nose down there. And that could be awesomely perfect. And it's almost looking gnome already. So what you need to do next is so you grab your three and one fourth piece of chipboard that you want or a paper that you want and then you are going to make your yarn loop for 20 times <laughs> So after you do that, you are going to cut the bottom in there like the same size of that three and one fourth. And you grab a piece of yarn just like this and you tie it on the top wedge of your chipboard. And you can remove it and you just make it tighter. Make it tight because that's going to be the beard of your gnome. Alright, and now the next one would be at the end of this, you are going to cut the opposite side of that yarn. We can glue it down. You just put that in there and glue it down and you are going to arrange it like how you want it. Don't worry about the bottom, we are going to fix it anyways, all right? And then that's your gnome's hair. And next you are going to have a chipboard, which is two and one fourth. And you do the same way like we did the earlier one. Turn it around for 15 times. So I, so I already made one and this is what I did. And we are going to put this down here at the bottom of our gnome's nose, all right? So be very generous of your glue so it holds it really nicely. All right, so you kind of arranged it very much and super cute and nice. And just like so, you just have to arrange it. And it's almost looking like a gnome's mustache or beard. All right. So you just have to hold it down like so. And our gnome's beard are almost looking pretty. Okay. And after that, you are going to grab the cone that we just made. So it should look like that. All right, so we are going to aim that it's closer to that gnome's nose. All right, so let's glue that part. And you have to make sure that the connection of your felt should be at the back, okay? And let's put a little bit of glue down here. And we are going to put that in there and hold it. It will take a minute or so. And you have an awesome no. And you are going to secure the back as well so it's not going to be flying everywhere. I like to do that. And there you go. So this is, should be our gnomes look like. And what you're gonna do is you can trim off the bottom of 
that gnome's beard and let's just trim that off like so and there you go and the next thing you are going to grab is your bow or buttons that you want so I'm going to use the green bow and please when you cut some wires please don't use your favorite scissors because then because so that you won't ruin your scissors your favorite scissors I mean so I like to put my bow here below so it looks super cute just like so and voila I got a pretty and beautiful gnome there you go super easy and fast and there is our gnome there you go